हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज सत्य प्रकाश वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज पार्ट वन ऑफ एस पी डॉट नेट वेब ए पी आई सेशन इन दिस सेशन विल डिस्कस हाउ टू क्रिएट ए एस पी डॉट नेट वेब ए पी आई प्रोजेक्ट एंड एक्सप्लोर इट्स फोल्डर्स एंड फाइल स्ट्रक्चर्स सो इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज एस पी डॉट नेट वेब ए पी आई व्हाट इज रेस्ट फुल सर्विसेस एंड एक्सप्लोर एंड अंडरस्टैंड द वेब ए पी आई कोड बाई विजुअल स्टूडियो so guys uh, i'll create a new sp.net web api project so i'll go to my visual studio here click on files and new and project so guys here you can see all the templates under the visual visual c sharp so i'll click here asp.net web so you can see asp.net web application dot net framework so i'll put my name that is uh web api coding right and here i'll select my path where i need to save my project folders so i'll click on this pc and go to my c drive and click on this one and here i'll select here yeah i'll select this one sp dot and web api right so i select uh, there is a, a web api process there okay i'll select this folder as well and click okay and if you uh, as of now the framework is 4.6.1 so i'll click okay and guys here you can see so many templates under that project so empty web form mbc web api single page application and azure api app so in this session i will select here as web api and you can see under add folders and core references you can it is two check boxes it is for mbc another is for web api so i will click okay here now guys we can see the web api coding sp.net web api project is successfully created and next is we will explore and understand the sp.net web api code which is auto generated by visual studio so guys uh, if you have worked on sp.net mbc then the project folder should be similar to you notice here we within this up, uh, within this project we have the controls folder right and i expand this and here we have two folder two controllers file one is home controllers right and another one is values controller dot cs so i'll open as well okay now guys guys you can see here uh, values controller which is a api controller because it is inherited from the api controller class right so i'll go right click on it and go to definitions of api controller so here guys you can see api controller is inherited from two interface that is i http controller and one is i disposable so i'll go back to my values controller so values controller which is inherit from api controller class that is present in system.web.http namespace you can see here right and this is different from mbc controller so mbc controller is the home controller.cs okay so the mbc controller class inherits from controller class right so if i'll go right click on it and go to definitions so this controller is a abstract class which is present in system.web.mbc namespace right 
and it it also inherits from so many uh, controller base class i action filter interface i authentication filter interface i authorization filter interface i disposable i exception filters and i result filter i async for controller i controller and i interface that is the async manage container interface right but it 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 uh, it comes under that is namespace system.web.mbc namespace right and you can see here uh, it is the namespace is added system.web.mbc and api controller is comes from the namespace is i'll show you here system.web.http you can see here right so that i have added this namespace for api controller and for mbc i have added this con this namespace for mbc controller okay the home controller which is a uh, you can see here home controller so this controller is a class which is which is an mbc controller which which is inherits from controller class file right okay so this is the difference between uh, api controller that is values controller and one is mbc controller that is home controller so i'll go to my values controller here so guys you have noticed in values controller class we have methods that is get and and here was another one is get api with id parameter another one is post api for post and put and delete right so that maps to the http verbs like get means it is uh, maps to get uh, http verb and get api with id also it maps to get http verbs and post is maps to post http verb and put maps to http verb that is put and delete it maps to the delete http verb respectively so we have two overload version of get method guys here you can see one is get another one is get with id parameter right so this is without parameter this is with parameter right so both of these methods responds to the get http verb depending on whether the id parameter is specified in the uri or not okay now i'll go to one uh, i'll show you the default route that is uh, in pl that is place for our web api project so we have the application under underscore start event handler in global.acx file so I'll go to global.acx file. You can see that we have the event handler that is application underscore start, right? So this event is raised when the application starts. So in the application underscore start event handler method, we have configuration for filters, bundles, etc. Right? Here you can see that is for one bundle. We have the method register bundles for filters. We have register global filters and for routes register routes method here there's so many methods inside this event handler so the one that is we have we are interested in the configuration for our web api project that is which is in web api config dot register right so i'll go to here that is web api config dot register here you can see right Th this is the method and if you'll right click on it and go to definitions so guys here we can see that this text this takes us to the register method in web api config class right so this class is present in app underscore start folder guys so i'll this is you can see app underscore start folder if i'll expand this you can see web api config dot cs is present inside this folder right and in the register method we have the default route configured for our sv dot and web api project so you can see this is the route we have it is defined and so web api routes are different from mbc routes so we can find the mbc routes in one more folder that is one more file in the same folder that is route config.cs and for api for route purpose we have the web api config.cs but as per the discussion route config.cs is for mbc routes it is present in app underscore start folder and for web api this 
con this file is class file is web api config dot cs it is present in also same folder that is web app underscore start folder so the, so guys i'll show you what is the difference so default web api route starts with the word api you can see right so api and then put slash and the name of the controller and and the id parameter it, it is it is optional id parameter is optional in this default route of web api and you can see here defaults id route parameter is optional we have put here right you can see okay and for route for mbc routes uh, the the route starts with controller and action and id here controller is default is home action is index and id is url parameter optional also here so this is the difference between mbc routes and web api routes so guys here i need to run my application so what i'll do here here you can see iis express google chrome so if you if you have different browser you can select here so as per my system configuration we have three i have three browser that is chrome explorer ie or microsoft edge if you are mozilla then you can see also mozilla here so i'll select this one to run my web api project So guys, here you can see this is the landing page of my web API project. So to check the URI, I'll go to, uh, I'll so I can see this is a local host and this is the port number. But as per my web API routes, I, I can see the result uh, so that I'll put here API and controller name. So I'll go to here and put API and slash and the controller name is uh, here guys you can see values controller right so values controller if I'll put values then it will uh, Paste the records that is value 1 and value 2 of the get method that is the I enumerable uh, return type so I'll I can see these two values so I'll go here and put values So guys here you can see i have get two uh, re response from the get request that is value one and value two it is because in our values controller in the get method we we have written new string values right right so one is value one and another one is value two and in my next video i will uh, describe what is the uri and what is its uh, you know uh, the more understanding about the uri and uh, how to, how it is defined the api routes and also i'll go through the get overload method of id parameter right so that i'll i'll discuss on that particular things in my next videos okay now now i'll uh, stop my application here So I'll go to my presentation guys. So what is ASP.NET Web API? So it is a framework for building web APIs that is HTTP based services on top of the .NET framework. Web API is a used for RESTful services and these services can be consumed by many clients like browser, mobile application, desktop application and IOTs. So API stands for application programming interface. And what is RESTful? RESTful is a architectural pattern for creating an API that is use, that uses HTTP as its uh, underlying communication method. So RESTful form is representational state transfer. Uh, so in this video, what we discuss today is uh, what, what is SP.NET, how to create the SP.NET Web API project and how to run the application and get the request from the get http verb and what are the restful services and explore and understand the web api code by visual studio guys so thank you for listening have a great day